a lot is connected to this in life. I feel like everybody, I feel like everybody I know, if you sat down and was like, explain to me memories around craft dinner, somebody would have memory. Like everybody has memories around craft dinner. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, what is up? What is good with y'all? It's craft dinner, okay? Now, the reason why I make this video is to actually hash out some important questions, details, possibly nostalgic memories, things like this. <laughs> we bring craft dinner into the fold because A, I was at the dollar store, I saw it, I was like, all right, I'll just get some craft dinner because I haven't had it in, I don't even know how long. I don't usually eat craft dinner. Uh, that being said though, I, it's not that I don't like craft dinner. Uh, it's just that maybe you kind of grew out of these things, but it is a classic. It's childhood nostalgic staple. Now, is it moon food? Does it have moon cheese and things? Yes. Is it technically maybe the worst? Potentially. Is it kind of awesome? Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's why I make this video. Because in my experience in life, I feel like everybody and their dog and their hamster has had craft dinner at one time in their life. You know what I mean? So, so we have to hash out a few questions because there are crucial questions about it. So anyways, I got craft dinner, but I don't have just craft dinner. I have wieners, which I chopped and uh, like fried off in the pan. And then I put some crispy onions on here, non-traditional, not even a thing usually with craft dinner, but uh, I wanted, you know, as per mac and cheese, I wanted a little crispy element. So let's have a bite and we'll talk about craft dinner. <laughs> craft dinner. I like guess it's good. But it's also maybe the worst. <laughs> okay, so. I don't know about y'all, but when I was a kid, craft Dinner and Wieners, putting hot dogs in your craft Dinner, was a thing. Is that a yay or a nay? We also ha used to have wieners and beans or beaners and weans, <laughs> what we used to call it. Which is the can of um, Heinz, pork and beans, and then you put wieners in it. I personally didn't really like beaners and weans. Or winners and beans. More of a KD guy myself. So this brings in the uh, the next question. Do you like your craft dinner runny? Or like more congealed? I promise you, it's two, uh, it's two camps of people. Some people like it runny. You add milk, like milk and butter. Add 
as you can tell. I'm more of a congealed kind of guy. I prefer it to thicken up. But that's just me. My dad and my sisters, though, they all like it runny. And my dad used to make it runny. I still eat it, of course. But preferentially, I like it a little thicker. Yeah. Now here comes an, another controversial question. Is this a disgrace? Catch up on your KD. <laughs> Is that blasphemous? I feel like ketchup on your KD is almost like ketchup on eggs. It's not polarizing. Many people will say, get away from me with that shit. And many people will say, Pour it on. I love it. The oddest thing for me personally with KD and ketchup is that it's mood based. I have to be in the mood. Sometimes I love it with ketchup. Sometimes I don't want it near it at all. So for me, it's mood based. And I guess today, I'm in the mood for some ketchup. As far as the nostalgia element, Craft dinner transports me directly back to two places. My grandparents. House for lunch. My Nana used to always make Things like that, craft dinner, uh, wieners and beans, soup, sandwiches. So that's one. Specifically, more like winter time ish, too. But the other transport is opposite of that summer. Lunchtime in summer. On summer break.
I was lucky and privileged enough to have like a, a camp. So swimming, like you're swimming with your homies. And for me, like stepbrothers and that. And then you come in for lunch, you get hollered at for lunch, and then you come in and you have your lunch. Craft dinner was on the menu a lot, a lot of the time. And bologna sandwiches. And a really specific memory was this, this girl, a tomboy, more or less, a pretty tomboy though, that we all used to hang out with. She could run with the best of them. <laughs> and she would, we would always be hanging out and she'd be with us. And then <laughs> we used to have bologna sandwich eating competitions. And she used to be able to, to dome like six bologna sandwiches. I was like a 10, 11 year old. And I could only ever get through three. <laughs> she always beat all of us. She killed us. And then I, <laughs> at one point I remember me and my stepbrother laying awake in bed one night, <laughs> both admitting to each other that we had a crush <laughs> on our six bologna eaten <laughs> tomboy girlfriend. <laughs> And then we like we're arguing over it. <laughs> like, well, who who do you think she's gonna like? <laughs> Turns out I don't think she liked either of us, and we were just smitten by our <laughs> by our baloney eaten tomboy girlfriend. She was too uh, preoccupied with just being a G, like living life. She didn't have a crush on anybody. She was just doing her thing. But him and I certainly had a crush. All right, so craft dinner. <laughs> Random, but a lot is connected to this in life. I feel like everybody, I feel like everybody I know, if you sat down and was like, explain to me memories around craft dinner, somebody would have memory. <laughs> like, Everybody has memories around craft dinner. Good, bad, the ugly, whatever. There's something about this that you definitely have memories around it. Also, the spirals, not the original, but the spirals are the shit. And white cheddar mac and cheese, super dope. All right, till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay nostalgic, and stay true. <laughs> If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.